Hey viewers, today I'm going to show you how to pack a bike for shipping. The goal uh, when you're packing a bike like this is just to protect the heck out of it and make sure that it fits all in the box and arrives safely. Uh, I don't know if you've ever bought a bike off eBay. I have bought a few and uh, some of them have been packed very poorly uh, and have gotten a little bit damaged in shipping. So our goal is to make sure that that does not happen. So I'm going to start off by removing the wheels. So release the brake here, pop this off, and set that wheel aside, and then pop the rear wheel off, set this aside. Next I want to remove the uh, pedals here. And then all the loose parts like pedals, we're going to stick into a bag and keep them all together and to make sure that they actually get shipped with the bike. Next, I want to protect all the tubing on the frame. And so to do that, I bought pipe insulation at my local hardware store. You can find this in the plumbing section. And so I got it in a few different diameters here. And so what I'll do is I'm going to cut sections for each piece of frame there. And so, just cut this here. And then I can just fit this over the tubing like that. And so now, once I have all the, the foam pieces all uh, covering the frame, I'm going to use zip ties just to zip tie them all into place. I mean, I could have got, done this going along, but it doesn't really matter. I'll just do it here and get them all secured into place. Okay, so done with that. I don't need to really trim these off because uh, I don't care, they're going to be inside of a box, but you can if you want. Now this is the end of the forks here. I want to protect them from getting squished together or uh, poking out through the box. So what I got is this little plastic part. And so I have a bunch of these little plastic parts that came with another bike when I got it. Uh, you can get these little plastic parts and I'll show you some more of them. Uh, you can get these from like probably your local bike shop for free or for real cheap because they get these little things uh, with all the bikes that they receive for their inventory. But anyway, this little part here just uh, uh, goes right up into the fork ends and goes like that and it helps protect these from getting switched together or poking through the box like that. And so now I want to protect these rear dropouts the same way to keep them from getting smushed in. Now I don't have a little plastic part like I did use for the front fork uh, to fit these. So what I did was I took a little bit of PCV pipe, cut it down so that it will fit between there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the skewer for the rear wheel, slide this through here, put the spring on there, it doesn't like that, and I'm going to use the skewer to help clamp this into place, and this will help uh, protect the rear dropouts from getting uh, pushed together in shipping and damaged, like that. Okay, so now I have this uh, rear derailleur ha hanging down here, and so it's real vulnerable, so I gotta take care of that. Now sometimes when you're packing a bike, if it's a smaller bike, you can leave the rear wheel on, and that'll help protect the rear derailleur. Uh, otherwise, you need to kind of, you know, with, with shift it all the way into the biggest cog, and then you get like a little protector that kind of sticks out over there to help protect uh, the derailleur in the box like that. Um, but since I have to take the rear wheel off, I need to deal with this. This hanging down is very vulnerable. So what I want to do is I'm going to actually remove the derailleur here from the hanger. And this has got like loose bolt. I don't want to lose that bolt there. So I'm going to stick this into my bag of parts. And what I want to do is I'm going to take this derailleur here. I'm going to wrap it in just some uh, 
bubble wrap here like this. And then I can bring it up into here and zip tie this into place to the inside of the stay where it will be protected and not hanging down like that. You also use some like maybe uh, packing tape around there if you want. Okay, now it's time to deal with the handlebars. Uh, if I have a pair of handlebars with like a threadless stem in there, I could just release the front. I would. I just go ahead and pull that off, pull the handlebars out, and put the little uh, cap back on in place. But I have a, a quill stem on here, so I, what I need to do is actually just kind of remove the quill stem here from the steerer. Loosen this here. And I'm probably also going to just loosen this little clamp down here so that I could pivot this stem a little bit like this and pull these out of here like this and you see I got this little uh, cable hanger here so I'm going to get this cable out of there like that and what I want to do is I'm going to pull the handlebars back here like this and I want to kind of secure them in place back here to the frame and I can use zip ties to kind of secure these back here every bike's going to be different if you have drop bars you'll have to just arrange a little bit different but the process is basically the same like that and then I also want to protect the crank arms. Uh, it, it's really hard. Just go overboard protecting everything. It's, it's really hard to overprotect the bike. So just pad the heck out of it. Turn it into a foam mummy. And then I'll pad this little section of handlebar. Why? Well, because it's there. Why not? Okay, so I have the frame pretty well protected here, and so I'm going to remove the seat post from the frame and let it drop down here. So just remove this, uh, or loosen the seat bolt clamp there. And like that. And so now I'm ready to place the bike in the box here. And I'm a little bit worried about the chain ring there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick some padding underneath the bike here. I have some uh, plastic bags full of other grocery plastic bags here. So I'm going to put those underneath here. I'm going to put a lot of extra padding inside the box as well. Now some other uh, packing stuff that I got from the bike shop are these little uh, caps here. And what these do is these can go on to the ends of the axles to help protect uh, the axles and keep them from poking through the box. And so you may or may not need them on every wheel. Depends, depends on how you uh, pack the box. Basically, when you put the wheel in the box, you kind of want the, if, if the axles would be touching the edge of the box, you want one of these between there to keep it from poking through there. Uh, so now I've got to figure out how to fit the wheels into the box with the frame here. And so I'm just going to stick this along the side here. And I may need to adjust the frame a little bit. And put that in there, there like that. And maybe adjust the frame a little bit here. And then try to get the front wheel in here. Okay, so I got the wheels in there like that. So now looking inside the box, I need to examine anything that might uh, possibly get damaged there. So I noticed this brake uh, here, the brake lever is right up against the inside of that rim there. So I'm gonna 
poke some uh, bubble wrap between that there to help protect it. And then I know this, notice this brake lever here is up against the edge of the box there. So I'll try to arrange this a little bit. I got a little bit of uh, styrofoam here and try to get this in there in such a way as to help pull that away from the edge of the box there a little bit. Okay, look inside the box for anything that might rub against anything else. Uh, I'm gonna stick some extra bubble wrap here between this wheel and the frame there, even though the frame is covered there. Uh, the end of the skewer here is kind of up against the edge of the box there. So maybe I'll stick some uh, styrofoam there to help protect it there. Okay, remember that bag of parts, the pedals, the skewer, everything like that? I'm going to stick this down into the bottom of the bag, the box there. And then just start filling it with padding, whatever you have. Uh, bubble wrap, uh, crumpled up newspapers, pieces of cardboard, styrofoam. I got like a bag, garbage bag here full of like uh, styrofoam peanuts that I had lying around here. So I can like shove this down into here. I work this down to help pad this. Uh, but just start adding padding into the box and then don't forget the saddle here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap the seat post here just with some bubble wrap not so much to protect the seat post but to kind of protect it from like uh, damaging anything else in the box like moving around and scratching anything and so then I got some uh, packing tape here so I'll just kind of wrap this a little bit with some uh, packing tape here so that it uh, stays wrapped. And then I'll take some bubble wrap and kind of lay this down in there and lay this kind of in there as well, like that. Okay, I shoved a little bit more styrofoam in there and I got another bag here with uh, like styrofoam peanuts in there. I'll use this to kind of top this off. Close up these little flaps like this. Bring this over here like this. Bring this over here like this. And I'm ready to tape this thing shut. Go over the box. Make sure that there's no leftover shipping labels at all. Uh, or tracking labels. Remove them. Uh, make sure the uh, box is taped securely. And uh, when you put uh, your address labels on there, put a couple of them. One on each side. Uh, and... Uh, that is how to pack a box for shipping. I hope you found that useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button. You'll see the videos that come out. And I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a lot of stuff over there. And I have a webpage, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, subscribe to that page. I have my videos categorized. I have some forums where you can ask questions. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.